It happened before and it'll happen again. A market crash is coming and it might be worse than the one we saw in 2008. So what can you do to protect your investments and ensure you're not caught off guard when it happens? In this video, we'll discuss some of the signs that a market crash is on the horizon as well as some tips for protecting your money. Stay tuned, the worst is yet to come. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. What would it look like if the stock market crashed and how long would it take to recover? So what can investors do to prepare? Before that, let's look at the bear market crash of 2008. The 2007 to 2009 US bear market crash lasted 17 months from 9th October 2007 to 9th March 2009. As a result, the S&P 500 lost around 50% of its value. Still, the duration of this bear market was below average due to extraordinary interventions by central and government banks to prop up the stock market. The crash got confirmed in June 2008 when DJIA, Dow Jones Industrial Average Organization, fell by 20% from its 2007 high. The decline of 20% by mid-2008 was in tandem with other stock markets worldwide and in September 2008. The organization dropped $777.68, with a close price of $10,365.45. During the bear market, there was much debate about who was to blame for the market's decline. During this time, political parties were deeply divided. For the most part, there were three camps. Those who blamed the economy, those who wanted to blame the departing Bush administration, and those who wanted to blame the newly arrived Obama administration. On March 3, 2009, President Obama stated, What you're now seeing is profit and earning ratios are starting to get to the point where buying stocks is potentially a good deal if you've got a long-term perspective on it. Most likely referring to the price-earnings ratio. Despite strong first-quarter earnings, many stocks were trading at low P and E ratios. On the same day, Forbes magazine, David Surchuk, predicted that the market would turn around when housing prices stabilize and oil prices rise again. What about the biggest crash coming soon? Experts like Robert Kiyosaki say that the best time to prepare for a crash is before it happens. But unfortunately, the biggest one is coming, and the good news is that it's the best time to get rich, but the crash will last long. In this situation, going to cash too early damages your financial outcome. Over the last decade, experts have met individuals who took cash in 2008 much before the market crash happened. They were confident, but the confidence gave them a way to confirm bias after the market went down in 2009. Consequently, they were with cash the entire crash, but the cost of sitting out on the market advance is evident. As the market turned bullish from bearish, individuals left with cash, worrying they somehow missed the opportunity to get when they were affordable pullbacks. The fear of being proven wrong overshadowed the necessity of getting the invested capital. Also, if such a disaster is about to happen, the assets are a risk and need immediate attention. And if you believe that now is not the time, when will it be? The biggest market crash will now be due to the powerful financial force in the financial markets, which mean reversions. The time is not different, and some new things have elicited speculative interest. Over the last 500 years, speculative bubbles have involved railways, real estate, tulip bulbs, technology, automobiles, Bitcoin, commodities, and emerging markets. Every financial bubble has some common factors. Firstly, the tremendous amount of speculative interest. Secondly, the sincere belief that time was different. And finally, a tragic ending is devastating the financial fortunes. Timing is everything. So when will the crash come? The crash can come any time, next month, year, or decade. Meanwhile, sitting in cash or other assets that underperform inflation as well as the market impedes the progress to achieving your financial aims. Crashes require the events that change the psychology of the investor from FOMO, fear of missing out, to FOB, fear of being in. It's where the lack of liquidity today becomes highly problematic. The stock market consists of sellers and buyers agreeing to transactions at a particular price. Every seller should have a buyer, and every transaction in the market needs both, with the distinguishing factor being at what price the transactions happen. When the selling starts in earnest, prices will get lower and buyers will vanish. The crash has resulted from some issues. It includes exogenous and unexpected events changing the economic outlook, a rapid increase in interest rates, a sudden charge in inflation, credit-related events impacting the financial system, monetary events, etc. Such causes the rapid change of sentiment from greed to fear. How to prepare for the crash Being an investor, you should never discount risk under the assumption that some force like the FED has eliminated it. But unfortunately, each era of speculation brings a set of theories thought to justify these speculations and these speculative slogans. 
The new era was the slogan for the period from 1927 to 1929. Now is the era where old economic laws were suspended. So two things are there with certainty, including the idea that the next crash is correct and we have no idea when it will happen. Moreover, crashes as well as downturns are an important part of investing, and the way to lose money during a market drop is if you're selling your investments. However, if history indicates, the investments will make up the losses in time. You can do things to shore your finances in moments of uncertainty and volatility. Accumulate by dollar cost averaging. During an economic downturn, the essential thing to remember is that negative years in the stock market are normal, part of the business cycle. Surprisingly, if you are a long-term investor, you can use dollar cost averaging, DCA. When you buy stock irrespective of price, you will end up buying the stock at a lower rate when the market drops down. Over time, your costs will average down, giving you a lower overall entry price for your shares. Pay off high interest debt. Toxic debt is any debt with an interest rate greater than 8%, as the stock market has historically returned an annual rate of around 8 to 10%. Any debt more than this is debt costing you money. High interest personal loans and credit cards are frequently included in this category. Make a budget and a repayment plan to deal with toxic debt. This will assist you in gaining control of your finances and building your credit. In addition, if you haven't already, it will put you in a suitable position to start with an emergency fund. Make sure your investments are diversified. Investing is a great next step when you've made sure your ducks are in a row. That is, you have paid your high interest debt as well as your emergency fund is highly funded. Many investors look for investment opportunities when stocks are on sale. Investing is appropriate for all ages, and the earlier you begin investing, the better. To build a strong investment portfolio, experts recommend diversifying your investments as well as spreading your money across hundreds and thousands of distinct companies. Maintain a steady flow of money into your investment accounts by dollar cost averaging or putting the same amount of money into your accounts every month. It's good to buy right now for people with a long-term horizon who invest and dollar cost averaging is their retirement plans every month. When the market begins to fall, the best way to cope is to stick to your plan. Remember why you're investing and stick to your regular investment schedule. Only invest what you can afford to lose. Investing is important, but so is having a place to live and eat. Short-term funds should not be invested in stocks. Generally, investors should not invest in equalities unless they have a five-year investment horizon, preferably longer. They should never try investing money that they cannot afford to lose, bear markets as well as minor corrections causing extreme damage. Keep your fears under control. The Dow climbs a wall of worry, as the saying goes on Wall Street. In other words, despite economic woes, terrorism, and countless other disasters, the Dow has continued to rise over time. Investors should always try to keep their emotions out of their investment decisions. What appears to be a massive global disaster one day may be remembered as little more than a blip on a radar screen a few years later. However, keep in mind that fear is an emotion that can cloud rational decision making in a situation, so maintain your cool and carry on. Look for good deals. Investors can benefit greatly from bear markets. The key is to know exactly what you're looking for. Stocks during a bear market are beaten up, battered, and underpriced. Conversely, great investors like Warren Buffett frequently see bear markets to buy stocks because the valuations of great companies are hammered down alongside the valuations of bad companies, resulting in very attractive valuations. Buffett frequently increases his position in his favorite stocks during market downturns because he understands the nature of the market which is to punish even great organizations for more than they deserve. Playing Dead the bears rule and bulls are doomed during a bear market. There's an adage that the best thing to do during a bear market is to play dead. The same thing you'd do if you encountered a real grizzly in the woods. However, fighting back would be extremely risky, so instead you can avoid becoming a bear's lunch by remaining calm and making no sudden movements. In financial terms, playing dead means putting a larger portion of your portfolio in money market securities such as CDs, US Treasury bills, and other instruments with high liquidity and short maturities. So, what can we do to protect ourselves? Well, first and foremost, don't panic. This will be tough, but we'll get through it together. Second, start thinking about how you can cut back on your expenses. Third, if you have any money saved up, now might be a good time to start investing in things like gold or silver. Lastly, stay informed and stay positive. We're going to get through this, together.
Share your views in the comments below and subscribe for more.